Okay, this is about the fighting in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, now on called the South in the American Revolution. Because up here in the New England states and the Mid Atlantic states, this is considered the North and this is considered the South. So, in in the American Revolution, there was a few battles throughout throughout the South. One of them was at the Battle of Savannah, where the British came in and besieged Savannah and captured it. Savannah, Georgia, that is. The other was Charleston, South Carolina, which, once again, the British captured. Actually, just a point of interest here, the one of the one of the men who died at the Battle of Savannah was on the American side was Polish. Polish, actually. His name was Tasimir Pulaski. And he was Polish. So just a, uh, a fun fact, just to let you know that other people were involved in the American Revolution, not just the Americans and the British. There was French, Spanish, Dutch, and even Polish and German, actually, too. At Valley Forge, General von Steuben came in to train the United States Army, and the Hessians fought on both sides, Native Americans fought on both sides, and so, really, the American Revolution was a very diverse war. Now, the one of the last... British victories in the South was at Camden, South Carolina. Camden, South Carolina. This shows um, a picture of the Battle of Camden. The Battle of Camden was fought between American troops and dragoons. British dragoons. Now, dragoons were like mounted infantry or foot soldiers on horses, if there could be such a thing. Dragoons were basically people who were infantrymen, you know, they fought on the ground, but they were they were cavalry. They were on horses. So they could fight on both on both horses or on foot. And and they were led by Bannister Tarleton, who who was the British commander of the dragoons, Tarleton's dragoons, and they won at Camden, they they came in and they defeated the Americans and the Americans lost many men. Well, Tarleton didn't lose many. The then there was another engagement at Cowpens, Cowpens, Kings Mountain. Here's a picture of the death of Patrick Ferguson, the English commander. Notice he's not wearing a red coat like the British soldier right here, but he's actually um. One of the dragoons, the dragoons wore green, and he died at the Battle of Kings Mountain, which is on the border between North Carolina and South Carolina. And at the Battle of Kings Mountain, Patrick Ferguson was killed and his forces completely routed. The Battle of Kings Mountain was a major, decisive American victory in the South. It was followed by another decisive victory at Cowpens. And here we see scene from the Battle of Cowpens. The African American here on the right was a slave of one of the soldiers fighting, and he actually saved his master during the fight. The Battle of Cowpens was another decisive American victory in the South, as Tarleton's forces were completely routed, and Tarleton himself defeated and killed. And then finally at Guilford Courthouse, the final one of the final battles in the South. And this is showing a scene from the Battle of Guilford Courthouse. The Americans under Nathaniel Green and Daniel Morgan had retreated up into Virginia and the English were pursuing them up through North Carolina. And then then a f battle was fought in northern North Carolina at Guilford Courthouse, and it was an am it was an amazing American victory. Once again, 
Tarleton's forces completely defeated, the English completely defeated. Not to mention that yet another battle was um, fought at around the same time at um, just south of Charlotte, what is now Charlotte, at the, it's called the Battle of Huck's Defeat, because there really was no, you know, town near it. There is one now, but it's still known as the Battle of Huck's Defeat. And so these battles were fought in the South during the American Revolution, and it turned out that my, um, Daniel Morgan, Daniel Morgan and Nathaniel Green's forces were, um, very, very capable of defeating professional dragoons under Patrick Ferguson and Bannister Tarleton.